Hey, what's up guys? Thank you for coming to my YouTube channel. Today, we are going to talk about this SSD internal drive adapter going to a USB port. The main purpose of using this one, if you're a tech, it's easy for you to recover files from here. If the laptop is not working, you get that internal SSD and plug it in here and you can recover the files. Well, if you're not a tech, you might have upgraded your internal SSD into a bigger size. That's what happened to me. I upgraded my 256 SSD into one terabyte, which leads me to not able to use this SSD into my laptop because there are no slots anymore. So I got this adapter going to USB where I plug my SSD and use it as an external device. Let's go ahead and take a look at this Akasis SSD internal drive converter to USB. So yeah, here we go. I got this from Amazon. I'll place a link in the description below if you wanna get this one. NVMe to USB adapter. So first look here, accessories. It seems like it is heatsink and some standoff. That's the main device. And one of the most important things is the manual, how you're going to use it. Now, take note guys, if you're going to buy this one, make sure to know the compatibility of the device. So as you can see it here, it is marked green, marked PCIe NVMe that has a notch on the right corner. Then the second one, we have PCIe NVMe that has two notch and SATA that has two notch. This is not compatible with PCIe HCI that has a single notch and a SATA that has a single notch. All right, let's go ahead and assemble this. This is the main adapter. Go ahead and open this. Then, whoa, yep, that's the slot that you can plug the SSD. Okay, then this is a heat sink rubber standoff, and those are rubber bands. Okay, let's assemble it. Get my spare SSD. 256 gigabytes, good enough space for some other things. Then I plug the rubber at the other side, so it should be on this side, so that it will create a space between that main board of the adapter going to that SSD. There you go. That's how it looks like. Then get this heat absorber. I don't know how you call this one, but um, it's going to absorb the heat from those chips. Then this is the heat sink to absorb the heat when it's being used, okay? Then of course, the rubber band. All right. Now, one thing I like about this is you can change the SSD anytime you want without opening some container, something like that, all right? So I have seen some USB adapters to SSD that has a case. Now it depends on you which one you prefer but when I was looking into it I decided to go for this one because I'm kind of the tech person at the same time maybe later on I want to change this SSD or there's something that I'm fixing and I want to use this adapter it's easy to just remove the rubber band change that SSD and plug the other one that I want to use all right so let's go ahead and plug this one that is my USB port for my laptop I'll plug it, oops, there you go. It will give you a blue light, there you go. It means that probably it's working or reading, the computer is reading the SSD. Jump into my computer and let's check this one out. All right, here we go. My computer, this PC, there you go. You have 200 plus gigabytes out there. And these are my old files from my laptop, but I don't need them because I just backed up my files. So I wanna, kind of delete everything from here so that I'm going to use it for some other purpose. I'm really sure that I backed up everything. Right click, go for format, type in the name, what's the purpose of this drive so that every time I plug it, I know, then go ahead and start complete. Now to test this one, let's go ahead and copy some of my files, maybe video files. All right, copy this one just to test it. Right click, copy. Go to that SSD external drive. Then paste it. Oh, that's fast. <laughs> Thanks, man. 
Anyways, guys, that's just about it. If you have any questions, just drop a comment down below. Like this video. Help me make a dream of 500,000 subscribers. See you in my next video, guys.